Okay, this is chapter uh, one, uh, section two. The title of it is Linear Measure and Precision. We're not really going to get into the measurement part of precision so much as we are going to introduce some new geometric pieces and parts. <clears throat> now, if you remember, we've talked about the concept of we have a point. Let's make that big and nice. And we've got a point B here. And we can draw a line between those two points. All right? Two points determine a line, and that line goes on forever and ever and ever in both directions. Now, ask yourself a question. Can we measure the length of a line? It goes on forever. That's like saying how long is 380? Well, a 380, US 380, does have a start and an end point, so we could measure. All right? But this line has no start and has no end. So therefore, where are you going to put the end of the ruler? Where are you going to start your mile marker? Where are you going to set the odometer set? Hey, you can't do it. So lines cannot be measured. However, there is a piece of that line between A and B. Okay? So we have a point A and we have a point B. It's a piece of the line. And we can call that, we have something here called AB. Draw a little picture on top. Tells me, oh, you're talking about line AB. But you know what? We can also talk about the piece of the line, and we call this segment. This right here is line A, B. This one right here is line segment A, B. Now, how do I know it's line segment? Because you put this here with no arrowheads on either end. That tells me, wow. It starts at A and it ends at B. Now, since a line segment starts and it stops, can we measure that? <clears throat> well, of course. That's like saying, how far is it on 3 US 380 from Denton to Decatur? We can measure that. Start in Decatur, hit the odometer setting, boom, get there. What is it? Now, is it the same distance from A to B? What if we start over here and go this way? Is that the same distance? Yeah. It's the same distance from Decatur to Denton as it is from Denton to Decatur. Same distance. We don't care what direction it is. It's the same distance. So this right here can be measured. Start and stop. Can't measure. There's no start and stop, okay? Notice this is a picture. This is a picture of a line. It does not end. It has a point A and a point B on it that helps us describe where that line is. This is a picture. It's a piece of a line. Starts at point A, ends at point B. Okay? This is a picture. Alright? Let's go on just a little bit. One of the things we can do with line segments is we have a line segment A, B. And I can have another line segment over here, C and D. And I measure those and I hear, I'm going to say this is about, oops, let's go over here. 18 inches. Okay? And I measure this one, and lo and behold, I find out it is also 18 inches. Okay? So we find out that they have the same measure. <coughs> okay? So we can basically say that these two are what we call congruent.
This symbol right here means congruent. Put three little things, says the same as, as the same measure. Okay? <coughs> so basically what we're saying here is this line segment. This is a picture of a line segment, a little abbreviated picture of a line segment. This line segment has the same measure as this line segment. We measured it. Now, there's another thing we can say that's a little weird and strange. Okay? And I'm going to use uh, blue for this. We can also say that AB equals CD. AB, without the line over it, means that the measure of the line segment A from B is equal to the measure of the line segment from C and D. This right here represents numbers. So we can use an equal sign. This represents numbers. This right here, this represents pictures. Pictures cannot be equal. This is a picture. This picture is the same as this picture. Why? Because this measure, this number, is the same as this number. Now this is very important that you understand this. We have now a picture of a line segment. Another picture of a line segment. We can say they're congruent when they have the same measure. We can represent the measurement of this line segment by just simply wow, A, B. Meaning the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from C to D. This represents a number and a number. It really does matter how you write this. How you write this is like a new language. How you write this tells me what's going on. Oh, this picture represents this picture. Oh, this number is the same as that number. That's what we're talking about. Congruent, okay? Pictures can be congruent, okay? Pictures can be congruent. Not equal. Numbers can be equal. Okay? Numbers can be equal, not congruent. Pictures can be congruent but they cannot be equal. Very important concepts for us to get across. Okay? Now, one other thing we need to talk about. Got a line. I got a point A. I got a point B. And I got a point C. Now, from just observation, Okay, we can say that line segment AB is not congruent to line segment BC. They don't look the same, do they? That would be the same as saying the measure of line segment AB is not equal to the measurement of line segment BC. Okay? Another concept we need to talk about on this picture. Alright? B looks like it is between. Point B is between A, point A, and point C. 
This is called betweenness of points, or B is between A and C. Now, B can only be between A and C only if A, B, and C are collinear and the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C equals the distance from A to C. Okay? That's what I call a cookie problem. Mama gave you 10 cookies. Mama gave your sister 15 cookies. How many cookies did she give both of you together? The distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C equals the distance from A to C. Another example on US 380. The distance from Bridgeport to Decatur plus the distance from Decatur to Denton equals the distance from Bridgeport to Denton. Okay? That's what this says. Now, we're at the beginning of where we're turning geometry into algebra. This is an algebraic expression. This represents a number. This represents a number. This represents a number. Okay? This can only be true if B is between A and C. Okay? B can only be between A and C if A, B, and C are collinear. Very important concept. Short, sweet, to the point. We're going to build our geometry on these concepts.